Hey everyone it's me Timmy Flyers Guy and I have an announcement regarding Classic Flyers Theater. New episodes will be coming September 17th exclusively on the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel. So get ready for some more action-packed episodes of Classic Flyers Theater. Hey everyone, Timmy Flyers Guy here and I just wanted to remind you that the Flyers Guy's Top 10 will be returning on Monday November 4th. So get ready for more exciting countdowns exclusively on the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers Guy, and I wanted to remind each and every one of you that Saturday shoutouts will officially be back on Sunday. Saturday, December 7th. You've seen a lot, a lot of great shout out videos. Beautiful women, great friends, and amazing people in my life. And also family members. So get ready on Saturday, December 7th. Saturday shoutouts will be making its return exclusively on the Timmy Fire Sky YouTube channel. Spread the love. It's me, Timmy Flowers Guy. Want to come on here and do a video uh, regarding the uh, upcoming flyer season right now on my TV. While I'm talking, I got the history of the Philadelphia Flyers playing. I have it. I have it on mute because I want to have some flyers footage while I talk here. On this video, you can't really see my face, but you see the TV right here. Uh, I'm very excited for the start of the season. I really am, and seeing this on the TV really gets me fired up and ready for the season. And this is an old school, old school uh, DVD that I had called The History of the Philadelphia Flyers. So I'm gonna put this on to I got some footage in the background. Um I guess the hockey season is on its way. September twenty second. Flyers open up. They open up against the Washington Capitals on Saturday, September twenty second at three PM. I have a Flyers free game video. That'll be premiering at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, September 22nd. At 2.30 p.m., officially on my YouTube channel. She's talking about I got a, a full, I got a, re, I got a, a bridge, uh, recap of the 2023-2024 season in the beginning of the video. You're probably going to really get a kick out of it. I'm doing something special for the opening night season opener as well. And also regular season will be starting on 
October 11th at 7 p.m. live from Face Off against the Vancouver Canucks. Then the Flyers will be the first of three games on the road. Um, Flyers will be taking on the Vancouver Canucks, the Calgary Flames, and the Seattle Kraken. And then we'll come home for the home opener on October 19th in a home opener rematch against the Vancouver Canucks on October 19th at 7 p.m. Uh, folks, uh, if you guys, the season was a fun season. If you guys had fun last season, I suggest you go out and get some flyers, get some flyer tickets, go out, bring the, bring the whole family, check out some flyers hockey, check out, um, the newest edition to the Philadelphia Flyers, number 39, Mesby Mishkov, who was, uh, who the Flyers signed last season, um, during the offseason. A really big move by Dan Greer, if I do say so myself. Now, I grew up being a Flyers fan my whole life, and every year, I'm excited for Flyers hockey. Every year, I was excited to go out here and watch Flyers hockey. So I love every minute of it. And the home openers, the season openers, they were like an event. We got ready for them. And I've been a fan since uh, 1989. Well, I was born in 86, I didn't really get to watch much. Uh, he says a baby, and I didn't really know what was going on. But once I got older, 89 was when I started watching Flyers hockey. And I was really into it. I enjoy it. Now, unfortunately, I got into Flyers hockey during the dark period of Flyers hockey. Which was in 80, 89, 90. So, I kind of missed the boat on the, um, on the, I kind of missed the boat on the blurry days of the Philadelphia Flyers. Plus, I was not born in the 70s, which was kind of a bummer because we won two Stanley Cups in 73, in 73. 74 and 74, 75, um, beating the Boston Bruins in 70, 73, 74 to capture their first Stanley Cup, then beating the Buffalo Sabres in 74, 75 to capture their second straight Stanley Cup. So I just said, I'm very excited for Flyers hockey, very excited to see what this team can do. Very excited to see what this team has to offer this season. I mean, last year it, it started out like it started out it started out great. Things were going well, but then the shit started to hit the fan and things started to go south for the flyers real quickly. With all the uh, adversity they were hit with last year. Despite that, this Flyers team still tried their best in every single game, and they made every game fun to watch. They made every Flyers fan wanting more night after night. And the way this, se this season ended, it was disappointing. I was upset. And I wasn't the only one that was upset about that. A lot of Flyers fans had a lot to say about the way we season ended. A lot, a lot of us had mixed opinions about what was going on. A lot of people criticized the coaching staff. And a lot of people criticized Rocky Thompson, 
I mean, the power play coach. You know, I, 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 I agree with that. I absolutely agree. Rocky Thompson did a terrible job with the power play this last season. Honestly, I think we need a better power play coach. Somebody who can really take the power play and make it look good. And Rocky Thompson is not the guy to do that. And John Torella, a lot of people point the finger at him for multiple reasons. Like scratching Morgan Frost from the lineup. And doing all kinds of orthodox stuff. But, you know, John Torella, he cares about this team. He wants to see it be successful. He's trying to really help these guys be a good hockey team. And I trust him. I trust John Torella. I mean, his third year year, you know, I'm not going to a hot year. I don't know if John Torella is going to have a good season. I can't predict that. But whatever happens, even if he doesn't, will we still be able to get through it? Yeah, I mean, there are plenty of coaches out there to coach this team. But right now, we have to trust Sean Tortorella because he, he did a good job last season. He did a wonderful job for this hockey team. And I'm glad we got to go away time. John Tortorella. He's a great man and a great coach. And I mean, he's been there, been there before. Um, I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. Been a while. Um, he was the coach of the Tampa Bay Lightning when they won the Stanley Cup. He was the coach of the Rangers when the Rangers played the LA Kings in the 2014 finals. So he's been there. He's my coach of Rangers when they were in the finals in 2013. And that's my opinion. I'm very excited about, about this season. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know that this team is going to. It's going to give it everything they got. To be the best, they're gonna give everything they got night after night, and we thought John Tortorella was tough last season and the season before. This season, I think that John Tortorella is going to be even more more intense than he ever was. So, if I was the Flyers, if I was anybody on that team, I would play good. I would, I would go out there and give everything I got. Because I would get on John for the Rolls good side immediately. You have to really impress that guy right away. And that's the key. That's the key. To making this hockey team. Give it everything you've got. And a lot of guys in preseason are going to be doing everything they can to make this hockey club. A lot of guys, a lot of, um, a lot of guys, a lot of guys who play for this team play for the fans are going to be wanting to make the big club, big club this year because the fans team are going to be an entirely different hockey team. Because a lot of guys will be getting called up to the Flyers this season. I, could, I see that happening. I would love to see Samuel Tuamala get a call up. He's he played well last year, and a lot of other guys that I'd like to see make the big hook. They can offer a lot of offensive and 
the fact that she's Mildy's from this hockey team. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, for the goalie. I also think, I honestly think it's going to be Sam Harrison and Ivan Fedotov this season. I don't see Cal Peterson making this team. I remember last year and making it against the Devils in the preseason. He got absolutely embarrassed in that game. The game against the Penguins last year. Absolutely horrendous the way the way he played last season. Felix Sandstrom, don't get me started on Felix Sandstrom. Ugh. Terrible little thunder. Nice guy though. But like I said, it's been a few years. It's been a few years since this team has reached the top of the mountain. 2010, I'd have to say 2019, 2020 was the last great season. But the last epic flyer season was the 2009-2010 season. Mostly the playoff run. Well, the way they got into the playoffs was more memorable than anything. The way they made the way they came back against the Bruins, you know, three games and on, that was pretty awesome. It was a good run, 2010. And a lot of us continually hope, a lot of us hope that this Flyers team, they hope that we'll have a season like 2009-2010 again. I know that is quite a, a stretch, but I would love to see the Flyers have a playoff run like they did in 2010. That'd be pretty exciting. It really would. And Flyers have had some memorable playoff appearances. Let's not forget. Let's not forget in 1985. Let's not forget 1974 when they won the Stanley Cup against the Boston Bruins. Let's not forget when they won their second Street Sandwich Hub in 1975 over the Buffalo Sabres. And this was then also the memorable season in 85, 86, when they made the finals on a mid rate. 84, 85. In 84, 85, when they made the finals against the Everton Oilers. And also, let's not forget. About the 87 playoff run when they made to the finals against the Edmonton Oilers once again. And also, if you want to talk about another memorable season, it's one of the 94 95 season on the Flyers, maybe all the way to the uh, conference finals. And also, Let's not forget the 96, the 97 playoff run. That was pretty cool too. And also the 2000 playoff run, although 2000 was a very depressing season. You gotta remember this season. And 2010, another memorable season. So like I said, the Flyers have had mem many memorable playoff appearances. So, I have to say, the Flyers have had a pretty rich history in this city. And I honestly believe the Flyers could work their asses off 
really put the, the work in, I think that this wire seam could reach the top of the, top of the mountain someday. I really do. It's a mess. Maybe that's maybe this season will be that season. I don't know. I can't predict the future. I am not a psychic and I'm not a clairvoyant. But what I do now is I can't wait for the 2024, 2025 Philadelphia Flyer season. I'm excited. I am very excited. This season is going to be fun, fun to watch. I don't know if we will make the playoffs. But I said, I do know. What I do know is that this team is going to put their hearts and souls into playing Flyers hockey. That's all I have to really say about this. And guys, thank you for joining me on here. I just want to say what I want to say. And to tell you the truth, when this video off, I want to dedicate this video to the memory of my father, Christopher M. Sulak. That is why I put this footage here on the TV to honor the memory of my father, Christopher M. Sulak. A great man. A great dad and a, gr a great hockey fan and a great Philadelphia Flyers fan. Without him, there wouldn't even have been a Timmy Flyers guy. I also want to dedicate this video to my mom as well. She's put up a lot. My mom can put up a lot of my craziness. During flyer games, a lot of my frustrations during flyer games. I want to dedicate this to my dad, up in heaven, Christopher M. Sulak, and my mom, who's still here today, Donna Sulak. Without them, without those two wonderful parents, there would have never been. A Timmy Flyers guy. And this YouTube, this YouTube, this YouTube channel would never, would have never happened if I wasn't here. So I thank my parents for bringing me into this world. For my dad introducing me to this great sport. And the rich history of Flyers hockey. Most of all, I also want to dedicate this video to the memory of Flyers Sharon Ed Snyder. Um, Flyers announcer Gene Hart. I want to dedicate this to Gene Hart as well. I also like to dedicate this video to Scoop Cooper. Scoop Cooper. I also like to dedicate this video. I know that it may not be, but I also want to dedicate this video to the memory of Philadelphia Fan, the Philadelphia Flyer, to Revos. And I also like to dedicate this video. I know that Matthew Goudreau and Tommy Goudreau are on different teams, but they do have ties to the Philadelphia area. So I like to dedicate I like to dedicate this video. I like to dedicate this video to the memory of 
Johnny and Matthew to show. And also I got a two old flyers flyers personnel and anyone associated with the Flyers family who's who's past who's past the one who's uh no longer with us. I dedicate this video to you as well. I'd also like to dedicate this video to the memory of my friend Tom Slavin and my friend Vinny as well. I'd also like to dedicate this to my good friend Tonya, who's still working at Tonya's Joey. I'll tell you that man works his ass off. I want to dedicate this video to my good friend Tonya, my friend Justin, my friend Jeffrey Shanton, my good friends Christine and Caitlin, my good friends Nicole and Rook, the Woodley Flyers, Ice Girls, the Flyers, Paul Tamers, the late great Kate Smith, and the city of Philadelphia as well. Guys, thank you for everything, and I will see you next time. Have a good day, everyone, and let's go Flyers. Let's go Flyers.